Did anyone did anyone call the the evil twin? I guess or no. like forgot who the main couple <laughs> was. Your, no? How would you ever think it was an evil twin? I don't know. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, like a foresight. It, it, it came out of nowhere, bro. Like the the reasoning as to like why she did what she did came out of left field, dude. <laughs> I, like that opening, I thought it was maybe like, oh, maybe they did another time frame skip, right? Like like VB failed, and then yeah. the the. The the doll that you see at the junkyard was 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 VB. That's what I was thinking. I think yeah, it was like the, her. Yeah, yeah, she had blue hair. I thought. Yeah, that's a blue hair. Not. It was her. It was a twin sister that yeah. like got tossed Definitely away like some, years ago or whatever. Some misdirection and and effective plot convenience for for the writer <laughs> then, so to speak. The rezero writer. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, apart from you know the the toke leader being the the guy that vv saved you know from those first episodes yeah. i think that was pretty clear writing on the wall at least from what i was expecting yeah just because in like the openings surprised. and everything we get glances of him and i was just like mm -hmm. okay like and he's still this, alive this makes sense um the thing that i guess i it wasn't that i wasn't expecting it but i was more so glad to see that vivi came to the realization that with kind of her current abilities and skill sets the situation she was in she wouldn't be able to get uh, the younger sister of the one girl that she couldn't save, you know, from the plane crash uh -huh. to safety. So she just, you know, kind of comes to terms with it. It's like, yo, Matsumoto, like, give me that can give me that combat, like, drive. And he's just like, are you sure? Basically, She's like, yeah, fuck it. Like, well, let's go. Basically, the Matrix moment. I know Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, I I'm glad to see kind of character walls being broken down there and you know hopefully we get to see that a little bit more from matsumoto's end and he doesn't end up being this very evil like underhanded character that i like to still potentially think he is <laughs> um but god damn man like that that standoff between uh vivi and uh elizabeth ooh, that was some damn good fight choreography <laughs> Yeah, that, nice. the, were, the music too the music's so good yeah they're throwing their budgets in, in the right places for sure yeah, yeah. Uh, I was to say going back to Matsumoto, like I don't, I just if he's not evil or I don't know, just like it just seems like, like he just it's an AI flaw where you you you're thinking logically, but it just sounds like, like again, there's another part where he he says like we have to kill like Estella because like she's she's on the cause all this, so obviously she's bad. But we realize well, it wasn't really her fault, even though she still has to destroy the hotel. It's like it wasn't really her fault. Yeah. So again, it's like it's it's Vivi like realizing that like. That she 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 has to constantly question Matsumoto because he's not clear about yeah. about this. But but Matsumoto well, did realize it though. Uh, right. It wasn't what like he basically kind of held to his guns and basically said, you know, this is what we have to do. This is like the path. Yeah, I'm just like, more saying it's he like, actually listened to Vivi's like uh yeah. I'm just saying this is like I mean, the second time it, it, it happened, it, so I'm just yeah. more uh, cautious about like, the next ahead, time. Too. Yeah, no, this is the. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, like if anything, this proves that Matsumoto is actually like leaning towards as a good character because, like you yeah. said, he didn't like hold to his guns, like oh, we have to kill her no matter what. And then if you really think about it, all the information that he's given is what was reported like from years ago, right? So going off that information, he's just assuming that this is what's going to happen at this time frame, and you know we just gotta like do it. And with the different variances, like this happened twenty four hours. Uh, earlier than when it should have happened exactly so, yeah. like you can't really blame the guy for like you know trying to stick to his uh yeah, original that, plan that line directly was very yeah. purposeful of matsumoto of like wait what like this is happening now like this isn't supposed to happen for that 24 hours like you said so it's like uh -huh. you know any divergence of sorts is now kind of leading towards that development of like to your point now showing matsumoto in a potentially more positive light where he's willing to tweak things to still achieve this goal I think he more but, he has to. I think if he wants to achieve the goal, I think he has to yeah. do those things. Because he's probably doing it in a very logical sense, so that's why he was okay with doing it. There's obviously probably some yeah. parameters in his head still. That's like, okay, you know, I as a very direct kind of AI focused being from the future potentially don't want to have any divergences, but this is within the acceptable parameters. Mm -hmm. so yeah. he still you know could be like if something more drastic comes up maybe he will be more firm again yeah. like in the in the first or second episode when we see him you know ripping off phoebe's arm when trying to go <laughs> against well, the plot or against the script so to speak yeah because right. i mean if they would have uh followed the the same thing where they had a, if they had a if they just killed Estella, like everything still would have happened because they would have killed the wrong one yep um they would have had no idea that there was actually like a stand-in and then yeah. they would have just plummeted right to earth 
But then this brings up the point, though. It looks like the, uh, like, whatever they call it, like the, all the actions that they've performed so far is already changing the future, right? And I think it all started with Vivi, like, showcasing, like, AIs have more than just their mission objective. They have feelings, they have dreams uh, to that, to that Senate guy. And then also by saving that one, uh, like, anti-terrorist group. Um, That's what, that's probably what caused it to come uh, come to fruition 24 hours earlier than when the plan was supposed to be carried out. Mm-hmm. So, if anything, this is kind of just telling you that from this point on, the no matter what they do, the future is already like on a different course as what happened before. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So it's it's gonna be weird uh, or it kind of interesting yeah. how this turns out. Well, it's gonna be interesting and, to see like what changes with Matsumoto even more though, because he's gonna have to realize like you know shit's changing. So what what he sees is he's gonna have to do something about it. Mm-hmm. And ahead, Kuo, David, I know you mentioned how like uh like like Vivi was showing more about how she's not just like an AI that just follows like instructions. She has those feelings, but we also saw that with Estella too. Like uh-huh. she, like I think she. I mean, it kind of, it kind of makes sense because she's like younger sister of Vivi. She was feeling really emotional towards her younger sister Elizabeth, and I guess I mean I guess it's related to the mission, but I think it's also showing like. Maybe, or maybe it's just because it's all like they're on the same family of AIs, but I think it's also just showing like yeah, there's more AIs than just like their instructions. Like I think that it's starting to show like, like the more there's more and more AIs that have feelings, so maybe that's like, affect the future mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, I can't help but think if anything though, and again just with the bias of it being from you know the creator of ReZero, like what they're changing, even though it is changing potentially this future that Matsumoto knows of or his creators kind of you know have given to him i feel like shit's just gonna get even worse oh yeah <laughs> i feel like we're heading towards a even more like i don't know how it would get darker than what we saw in the first episode of ai's just going and killing people but i can't help but feel like there's not gonna be a again yeah me being putting on my, my masochist hat i don't think there's gonna be a very happy ending <laughs> well, that we're I mean, heading it, towards <laughs> it makes sense with like the change that that's been happening with that didn't like like the the first one where it's like where they say yeah they see the senate guy like it made the uh, his law like, even stronger so maybe the outcome mm-hmm. of this one it's like maybe there's even more of a backlash against ais than there was oh. in the original history so yeah, i just like I, I do i feel like if anything like matsumoto is more of there just to basically make ai stronger um we're just based off the first episode really because it just made the law stronger for ai so it's but i don't know but then i guess we'll find out like like kind of like the, the aftermath next episode i'm guessing of what this did uh-huh. um mm-hmm. for ai even either you know good or bad but uh, but she did also save that girl's sister positive <laughs> that, that is positive positive in the, in, in, the, in the short term but yes. again now yeah. we have to think towards the long term and i guess that even further and i just real feel like with matsumoto you know all we know is what we've seen so far and what matsumoto has said of how he came from the future but yeah. who's to even say like matsumoto wasn't the one that initiated the protocol that turns like all AIs it's true too against humans. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that'd be a plot twist, yeah. sure. Because we have but, no idea where he came but from. But then again, it's like, yeah, why would he go back in time and then do doing right now? If, well, like, that future was what he wanted, or who knows? Maybe he's looking for something even more messed up. I mean, it could be like it'd be like a self fulfilling <laughs> prophecy too, where it's like he has to go back in time to make the conditions possible for that future if he wanted it. So, oh. yeah. So. I mean that's that's the thing of time travel. So yeah, it can go anywhere. I'm right. still excited though. I, I still have like really no idea like where the show the show is going and yeah. neither I, re- I, re- <laughs> I really like the last two episodes with uh, with Estella and like this this space hotel. I it made me much more excited about the show than I was for the first two episode. So yeah, I think Rip at this Estella. point we've we've definitely gotten the like plot means of the, how they're probably going to do the rest of the series is we're going to jump probably another yep. like time skip and then now it's going to be this different event jump again time skip different event and then it's all leading towards yeah now like getting the towards the future years. yeah but um i will say the, yeah the one thing to, to ku's point at the very beginning of, of our conversation here like definitely a very heavy plot convenience of toke just being able to you know go to this junkyard of you know discarded ais and and get you know this perfect ai to you know execute this plan so hopefully they they don't lean on that more in the future and and that'll just be a a testament to the writer so um 
but again, I, I think, you know, it seems like we're all really enjoying it. It's got everything going for it so far. So let's just hope they can uh, carry it through since we're almost, you know, admittedly at the halfway mark. That is true. Yeah. 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 So Again, the like original. Show. So we always have to worry about the, the ending. Yeah. Yeah. But even that, though, like this is like my this is probably like my you, most hype show this season. You so love far. the breath of fresh air, but you fear the time constraint. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'm all again. Hold I'm hope. All hold hope. Anime original. So yeah. More, more power to you.